So we've got a new final sector and welcome to Waterfront for some high speed jousting. Here is the uh, revamped final sector. I'd say it's a little lower speed, but you know, the racing could be a lot better. Right, so for our 18 laps to come, here is the starting grid for tonight's race. We've got Soda and Outro occupying the first row. Nananoob, uh, best start since season 1 in P3. Kaylin, best start for her. Hunger Play in P5, since a uh, best start since his season 1 days as well. Ohio Cat on debut is P6. H-Stock P7 and Fantasy qualify on pole by a small margin is starting last for the last two first challenge. So who's going to come out in front in the next 18 laps? The race starts and Soda gets a good start. Outro is tailing behind him but might get bumped which he does and that is Ohio Cat with a ginormous start but messes up. Uh, on turn 2, that gives Outro P2. Nananoob had a bad start. He's down there in 6th place. Kaelin with a ginormous start. Fantasy with the tremendous start. He's now up to 3rd. But Soda has a comfortable lead. And is uh, out in front in P1. Then there's this carnage in the midfield between all these drivers. Hunger player now down to last. But what he start from Soda. But as we now look to Nananoop, who uh, hits the barrier and gives Kaelin uh, the position. Now Kaelin is up to 5th, Nano down to 6th. Uh, he has lost quite some places despite starting P3, but you know there's only 8 drivers in this race, so anything can happen. As he tried to make the move but goes too wide, that could give Ohio a chance, but he gets bumped as well. And Hunger Player messing up that chicane corner. Now, h Dog with a ginormous start, as said before, uh, he's up to 4th, Kaelin tried to make a move on the Singapore sling, but fails, so Nananoop can regain his P5, but messes up at the end of the uh, Singapore sling, but he got the momentum to overtake him down the uh, main straight. Now, what's going to happen in the next few corners, um, Nananoop staying ahead and should be safe for P5, as Kaelin goes to the polished underside. And loses out to Nananoob. Now we head to this main straight. For, for this long straight. As the next corner is designed for overtaking. So Kaelin has a chance to gain P5 on Nananoob. As he tries to make the move. Nananoob positions his boat nicely. And stays ahead of Kaelin. Now to the next sort of hairpin we go. Nananoob staying ahead of Kaelin. Kaelin had the chance. But did not have the best line on that chicane. Now to the Singapore sling, Nananoob stays ahead and Kaelin tried to make the move but failed. Well who's down over there, that is Fantasy making his pit stop. Oh wow, it took him a lot longer than I thought. So something might have happened to Fantasy in the pits that I didn't notice but it took him way longer to pit than I expected. Maybe the pit delta is a lot longer than I thought. So, is it going to be Nanadoop or is it going to be H-Dog? Now, to this long straight into the next corner, that's an over overtaking song, as said before. Is H-Dog going to keep his place? Nanadoop goes too wide and sadly might lose out to the guys behind as Kaelin tried to make the move. Here comes Fantasy on Kaelin. Is he going to make the move into the next hairpin? They are pretty much side by side at one point. Fantasy can have the place into the Singapore sling. What's going to happen though as Kaelin positions her boat nicely but doesn't take the wall tap on the final corner which gives Fantasy the place on Kaelin. And now he takes a P4. And he, he's currently on legit h -Dunk. Now he could gain another place within a few corners. And uh, Kaelin is actually still very close to Fantasy. So let's see what's going to happen as uh, Fantasy messes up the hairpin lake. And that gives Kaelin the place for the time being. But Kaelin didn't get the chicane right. And that gives Fantasy... Uh, P4, now he's still trailing behind h -Dong. so let's see, he can make the move on that next corner, which is an overtaking zone, as said, like, two times before. Is h -Dong going to defend? He does, but, oh wow, he 
uh, does the racing line perfectly despite not having much practice fantasy is going to try and make the move with that cleaner racing line is he going to be ahead no not yet but h stock goes wide in the singapore chicane i mean singapore sling and which gives fantasy p3 and he's back up into the podium places fantasy is around eight seconds behind outro so uh oh well he overtakes hunger player the back marker no he doesn't actually hunger player is actually defending quite nice against fantasy but he does make the move fantasy ahead of hunger lapping him and so does Suka is just at the fastest lap but now fantasy is on his way hunting down outro this is the battle we're seeing for seventh place now p7 might look like nothing in this race but it's actually rewards you eight points as is hunger plane going to make the move he is ohio cat runs way too wide and hunger player overtakes ohio cat oh but he messes up the hairpin at the next corner basically hunger player is ahead of ohio cat and is a basically a pit stop ahead we see now outro making his second pit stop that's not good because hunger player and ohio cat are the back markers upcoming as we just saw hunger player overtake i mean unlap outro and that could be a problem and it could cost outro p2 as we just saw him around nine seconds ahead of um fantasy this back marker right here could be the uh decider for our p2 finish for today so the soaker now about to lap outro the two title contenders last season outro bumping soda out telling him to get the hell out of the way which he does soda despite having only zero pit stops is on another level today he is flying on track setting fastest laps after fastest laps as we see uh, that hunger player is still bothering outro and yeah he's lost a lot of time because of hunger player and fantasy can pit right now and potentially come out ahead of outro this bag marker hunger player is really spicing things up as we see soda might make the move on lapping his uh biggest rival last season <laughs> they are actually going quite close and uh, hunger player bumps outro and gives soda the way to overtake outro uh yeah not it's not going well for outro he's now four, 24 seconds behind fantasy now i believe the pit delta is around 25 seconds so outro is basically losing out heavily as that's our race leader so the so good coming in for the pit stop all right so this is fantasy so he's getting out of the pits and uh, he is ahead of the back markers. So f Altro didn't get it right when he pitted for the second time. He was behind a few back markers. For Fantasy, it's a different story. And he is over 10 seconds ahead of Altro. So Altro basically lost around 20 seconds to back markers because he was around 9 seconds ahead of Fantasy after they both did their first pit stop yeah so this is how the tables turn outro now basically settled for p3 fantasy is also basically settled for p2 i mean soda is just gonna get another fastest lap uh, he is flying as i said like complete dominance this weekend all right so now soda soaker rounding the final sections of this race it has been a dominant weekend for him despite having three pit stops he still wins by around nine seconds so the soaker wins in waterfront fantasy comes home to take second place despite starting down last place a good drive for him outro had basically was looking for a p2 finish but he lost out because of the back markers.